Yeah, what's up, you guys? This is Gasson. We're coming back with some more Clan Wars. And you know what, you guys? It looks like this thing's going to be official where I'm actually just hanging out with Kings Rock. And I'm going to be recording a lot of the Clan Wars that they have since these guys are on leaderboards. And they're just going up against the other dudes in leaderboards position. So this is a chance for you guys to check out a lot of the top dogs up there. See how they raid, new techniques, and maybe get some new strategies for your own uh, attacks. So... Uh, they started up another war with Kings Rock 2 and these guys are actually in I believe the top 15 up there with Kings Rock So these guys are no slouches now. I did come in a little late this war had already been starting, but it's not over yet Let's go ahead and check out and see what they're doing I'm gonna go ahead and cover this thing and let's see if we can actually do a live replay right now This is actually live Let's go ahead and check out and see what they're doing Okay, first up we have Aztec from Kings Rock versus Racing Jake from Kings Rock 2. And he is pulling out all of the clan castle with a hog rider, just like I expected. And there was actually a lot of archers in there. And the reason why I believe they're doing that is because uh, the more archers you have in there, the harder it is to pull them all out with uh, wall breakers or hog riders. But he was able to get all of them out and there was a witch hiding in the back. So let's see if he can bring him to the corner and take them all out. <clears throat> now if you guys been watching that uh, cooking show I did, he could do it with a Valkyrie, but let's see if he does it with something else. Maybe a lightning spell or, okay, his own clan, clan castle, which works also. And I'm thinking the reason why he's doing this is because he wants to do probably a hog rider attack, usually when they do this. That's what the, oh, yep. Okay, he's going in. Hog Riders, I knew it. All right, and dang, there's a Mega Bar, no. Whoa, they all survived it. If that was me, I'd be dead. <laughs> so close, man, so close. Okay, and now he's taking out the Infernal Towers. He took out the Expos, the Teslas, and now he's going for the Wizard. I don't see how he can do this, man. Whenever I use hogs, <laughs> they just die right away. Okay, so he put some sort of damage on the uh, the base. He's got to see if he can try and take out this expo. He's going to go ahead and throw another heal spell just in case. Wow, that was really risky. But he does it right at the last hit. Okay, so the king's going in. Now, I'm not really liking that placement. He's too close to the queen, so she just might actually take him out because when the king gets too close, especially when there's walls like that, he'll just go for the walls and not even hit anything else. So let's see if he can even get through this wall. Yeah, king's going down, so let's see what he can do with this. He's got one queen left. He might be able to get to the town hall if his queen... Oh, hold on. Looks like we're... This is actually what you get a loading screen whenever you watch stuff live. So... Okay. If this queen does a good job and goes for the town hall, she might be safe. Okay, but he activates... He activates the hidden cloak, and I'm guessing it's because he's probably out of time. If she can get that without getting... ah, oh, she's going for the wall. Okay. If she could have got that without going for the wall, then that would have been it. But she might be too close. And, yep, the Infernal Tower is going to take her out. Okay, so he saves the queen. And, you know what? That's all right. One star is okay, man. No, it ain't. <laughs> you got to get two up here. But a good try. Let's go for the next one. Who do we have? It looks like it's Spaceship. Spaceship. Versus Ralph Soros. Ralph Soros. <laughs> okay, so he's pulling the troops out. Now that's always been my thing. I'm actually thinking this is a good thing to have in uh, champions, especially in the high cup range, to have lots of archers in your uh, clan castle. And what that does is it slows down the defense if they can't pull them out. But he takes out the archers pretty easily uses a lightning spell and he's using the rest of his wizards and wall breakers and golems oh we got another load screen 
But he's doing the classical ground attack where he's using lots of uh, golems, wizards, and wall breakers. I would consider that the go wipe still. He didn't have any witches in his clan castle, which would have made it a, a we go wipe or a go we wipe. So he's gonna go ahead and stop that infernal tower and hopefully push the clan castle. All right, their king is taken out. Enemy king is down. Clan castle is gone, and now the town hall is left. Let's see if he can get. Oh, he got it. Now let's see if he can actually push for a three star, but it doesn't look like he could because all of his main units are down, and he's just gonna go ahead and take the two star. Pretty good raid. Pretty good raid. Ah, you know what? I've always thought about doing an animation about this. Golems just get trapped inside the. Uh, <laughs> the box right there and they're done but anyway you guys this has been king's rock versus king's rock 2 now although i was able to catch the last part of this clan war it was very close all the way at the last uh, four hours actually they had uh, pretty much kept it even but there can only be one winner and it looks like king's rock is going to take it and I'm sure there's going to be another one pretty soon where we can check out King's Rock going at it again. Be sure to sub So I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Four players go at each other. And I will see you guys next time. Godson out.